Uh, praise the Lord. Praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> uh, this is your boy AOG. First Lady CC. Welcome back, Soldiers of Christ. This is uh, part three and part four of Who's Living in Your House, Who's Living in Your Mind. If we get a chance to get to part four, but yeah. We're yeah, I know, how, I know. Um, <laughs> but um, for those who, um, this is your first time uh, watching the video, um, we teach spiritual warfare. Uh, this is part three and four of who's living in your house, who's living in your mind. Uh, we teach you how to battle the uh, enemy of your mind, the enemy of our soul, which is Satan, a.k.a. Lucy. And um, we teach you how to recognize those thoughts, as it says in Corinthians, bring every thought into captivity unto the obedience of Christ, and then be, be ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to um, teach people how uh, to not only... Uh, recognize those thoughts but utilize the power and authority uh, in God jesus name us. yeah that, yeah that the lord has given us yeah and you the know? first thing before you can rebuke any spirit the first thing you have to know jesus christ yeah you gotta know the lord and if you don't know the lord that's the first thing it's very simple yeah all you have to do is just confess that he is jesus christ and yeah. he came and died for our sins and rose again yes and then begin to spend time with him mm -hmm, begin mm -hmm. to get to know him mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you immediately have that power when you acknowledge that he's christ and that you serve him yes he immediately uh, gives you that power to rebuke the enemy yes but you have to build up your spirit it's like uh, going to a gym. Mm -hmm. You can't be the national champion of a bodybuilder, you, you know, competition. Mm -hmm. and you don't work out. Workout. Yeah, come on now. There'll be more than one <clears> workout. <throat> it takes training. It takes yes. staying in the gym, eating the right foods and right nutrition. It's, it works the same way with the Lord. Yes. You got to eat his word. Yes. You got to spend time with him, talking to him, yes. having a relationship with him. And mm -hmm. the more you do that, the more power you will have over the enemy. Exactly. And the same power that Jesus used over the enemy. Every time that the, the devil says something, the Lord says, as it is written, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That whole battle was in was going on in the mind. Mm -hmm. You know, people can see this big picture of the devil taking it. No, it was all in the mind. Mm -hmm. That's why he would, the, the enemy was able to take him to the high place, the high place in, a, yeah. in a moment. Yeah. It's a thought. People of people of God, it was Amen. a thought. And we have to recognize those thoughts. There's so many even <clears throat> Christians. Lost. Specifically, tr Christians Lost. walking around not aware <laughs> that we're in a high spiritual yeah, warfare, yeah, right high now. spiritual battle right now. And we're talking about prosperity. Y'all better get up out of here with that. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. I mean, well, prosperity a... is good. There's nothing wrong with it, but the fight is a spiritual man, is, fight. Man. People are talking about prosperity and losing their family. Yeah, man, losing. Kids are locked yeah. up in jail. Souls being drugs. lost, souls yeah. being lost. Souls being These lost. teachings are Amen. are teachings are the teachings that Jesus Christ, Amen. when he when he came, he came back in power. These are the things that he taught his disciples. Amen. He says, "You bring every thought into captivity now, Amen. and then you go and you teach others how to say, recognize those thoughts that mm -hmm. come from the enemy. Right. Thoughts come from the enemy." So that's what this whole session is about. Yeah. Who's living? Who's in living your in your house? house? And this your is house part. Is your mind. And this is part three and four. Part one was. Do you keep track of who goes in and out of your house? Do you keep track of what, what, what goes in and out of your thoughts? Of your do you or do you just react to every thought? Yeah. Yeah. Anger, say so get angry. Okay. No, you gotta think about it. Wait a minute. Angry if I get angry, ah, that's normally doesn't turn out good. I rebuke ah, I recognize that thought. That's then, that's from the enemy. Okay. Ahead, and then you have some people who own the thoughts. They're like, Oh, that's just me. That's just who yeah, I they am. just that's think that I that's think. just no nah, man. No. Yeah, no, that's not just you. Yeah. Own it, then that's, like, that's going to be on you. You have to live with the choice you made. Yeah. But yeah. no. Yeah. I can always, I can definitely tell you, this is definitely an LD. They, they'd be like, man, you're not the, the L you used to be. No, because the Holy Ghost lives here now. I've been trying to listen to his thoughts. Amen. So Romans, uh, oh, and verse two was, I mean, part one was, do you keep track of who goes in and out of your house and out of your mind? And part two was, do you have good roommates do you have those good thoughts are you are, are you being led by the holy spirit Amen. do you know when the holy spirit is saying do you know how to recognize those bad thoughts and mm -hmm. not listen to them there are good kids out there they'd be yeah. like no I'm, I, I wouldn't do that that's just not right <laughs> but the only reason they would say that is because they were taught that mm. we don't come into this world good mm. we're born it says we're born, born into, into sin, sin. Mm. Because of our flesh, because of the flesh we live in. Mm. We're born into sin. I was reading in the Word yesterday where um, 
the Lord was saying that the heart is deceitful. Mm, and it can only, it, that, that was in Jeremiah. Ooh, wow. That the heart is deceitful. The heart chooses evil. Yes. But our spirit man is what can change yes. that and control that. Yes, exactly. Okay, so we okay. and verse... Um, Romans 8, I mean Romans chapter 1. Yeah. Verse 2. So part 1. Oh, you sorry. keep track of who goes in and out of your house. Part mm -hmm. two, no, you're good, baby. Do you have good roommates, mm -hmm. right? Are you led by the Holy Spirit? So part three and four, part three, we're going to be talking about do you have bad roommates? Mm -hmm. And part four is how hard is it to actually move those bad roommates out if we can get to it? So go ahead, baby. Romans one. Romans one. Right now we're doing do you have bad do you roommates? you have little bad roommates? So in this this uh, step <clears throat> is just a self-examination. Mm -hmm. We should all That's examine good. ourselves daily. That's good. Daily. That's good. No no man is good. No yeah. one is perfect. Yeah. The, the biggest bishop out there sins, just like even the Pope. Yeah, dog. All, everybody think the Pope is so holy, holy, holy. Yeah, the dog. Pope sins on a yeah, daily dog. basis. Yeah, dog. Mental. Anybody that lives in this flesh sins. Yes. There's no one perfect. Yes. It's a daily battle. So that's right? why we have to work at it. Yes. It's okay. a daily battle. Go ahead. Romans please. chapter 1 verse 28 says, Even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not, not fitting. fitting. Hmm. Notice how it says, And even they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. There are people who just don't want to obey. Yeah. Or people who just don't want to know the Lord. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Who just yes. make that choice. Yeah. Right? But notice notice who gave who over. Yeah. It was God. It yeah, was the God Lord who actually over. gave them over. It wasn't like the enemy just overtook you. No. Mm -hmm. God gave them. He said, oh, you want that? Mm -hmm. I want to give that to you. And that's the thing. <clears throat> God had created man with a free will, mm. with a choice. And if you choose to go that route, right. then God is going to give it to and you. And you can see it, though, yeah. in, in, in today's world, especially yeah. how it says, verse 29 says, being filled with all unrighteousness, mm -hmm. being filled with all unrighteousness. Now, it's going to give us a list of these particular things that um, are like signs of bad roommates, signs yeah, that you possibly you have the today. enemy living with you yeah. or, or controlling you, these giving are, you suggestions. These are the things we see today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it says being filled with uh, unrighteousness. Also, listen, what, listen to what the word is saying. Being filled, mm -hmm. to be filled is, it's almost like, it, it just doesn't all happen at once. Right. It's a poor. It's not like you're just, all of a sudden, he was just bad from the very beginning. But right. it's like a process. Right. It's like a little bit of a disobedience leads to more disobedience. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, he, he stole one time, he got away with it, that leads to it's more. You know what I'm right. saying? Those thoughts, those same thoughts, right? If, you, if that thought gets in. Yeah. Go ahead, babe. No, I'm just saying, being filled means action. That mm. means it's consistent. It's mm. steady flowing. The, the thoughts. It's mm. being filled. Mm. Yes. I remember how, uh, as a man dealing with lust, how the thoughts would just bombard my mind. Mm -hmm. It would just bombard my mind. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and the Lord was like, this is what men go through, but mm -hmm. they don't say anything. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why you have to stay in the word. Mm -hmm. Because the word, the, the more the word is in you, the more the word will actually come back those thoughts for you. Yeah. The word would be like, I, 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 that's not, that's not me talking. I, 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 rebuke that thought, rebuke. And you know, the good thing too is the more you stay in the word and the more you get to know the Lord, you begin to see yourself. Mm. God will show Are you, you, yeah. you. Yeah. he will show you yourself. He yeah. will show you your weaknesses and this is what you need to work on and things like that. Mm. So, and that's so important. That's key because we always want to better ourselves. We mm. always want to be more like Christ mm. and we can't get to that point if we don't know who we are. Right. Romans one and 29 says being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality. You know, all these guys remember when Satan was kicked out of, uh, heaven mm -hmm. he took a third of the angels with him mm -hmm. they all have names yeah. we're about to we're about to go through some of those names right mm -hmm. now who they specifically deal with that particular area right amen unrighteousness there's an angel that there's a fallen angel or a demon or demonic presence that specifically deals in this area and throws out these particular thoughts mm -hmm. at individuals mm -hmm. um, all unrighteousness, sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. The thoughts come from somewhere. Yeah. Uh, wickedness. Mm -hmm. Covetousness. Mm -hmm. We were just talking in the Word yesterday about how sin, right, 
once says first of all there's a lust mm -hmm. see the enemy there's two people we got two things mm -hmm. that we that we're fighting we're fighting sin which mm -hmm. lives within us mm -hmm. right that's warring against the spirit and we're also fighting the enemy mm -hmm. lucifer see the way lucifer works is he just gives us the suggestion yeah the sin in us wants to take that suggestion right. and run with it right Flesh just right. wants to, ooh, flesh is the truth. And that's what the scripture said, is that we are drawn away or we're led away We're enticed by our own, by our own lust. And lust. Desires. It is it's something in yeah. us that we allow to control. Right. right? And that's sin. That's what, what the Lord talks about, how he condemns sin in the flesh. Right. And how through one man, sin entered the world. And through one man, atonement yeah. was made. And that's, yeah. that's through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, being filled with sexual immorality, wickedness, mm -hmm. covetousness. Coverage, that means wanting. Mm -hmm. You know, that's even of the enemy. Wanting something from yeah. Man, I see the man, I see them big twenty fours, man. I'm gonna give me some twenty fours like homeboy, man. I'm gonna get his twenty fours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maliciousness. You know, when you see people like this and you think, why are those people like this? It's mm -hmm. because they have been filled with those demonic thoughts. And it's controlling them. Yes. It's controlling them. They have been filled. Mm -hmm. Right. If you don't, uh, if you don't catch something before it gets into your house, you gotta before something comes into your house. You know there should be some type of door there with a lock on it. Mm -hmm. You should be. They they should have to knock to get into this. When a thought comes to my mind, I, I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Who is that? Mm -hmm. Who are you? Are you with the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. I ain't, I don't remember reading about you in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Oh, in fact, I do remember about you. Oh, lust. No. Uh. -uh. You of Satan, I rebuke you. I cast you to the deepest depths of the abyss. I bind you to never return right now in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right? When you do that, wait a minute, that's, a, uh, that's another teaching right there. <laughs> 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 On how to handle the enemy. Amen. Amen. So, uh, full of envy. Of people who, you ever walked in a building and people are just envious of you? It's not them. It's the spirit the that's spirit in them. Right. Or the spirit that's in control them. You know, who's hosting you? Amen. You know what I'm saying? Um, strife, deceit, Amen. evil mindedness. There's some people out there that's just evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you think, man, what are they? You, you, you just, they're just showing you that they are, they, they don't control. Right. They don't control what's going on. Amen. They, they don't Amen. check who's going in and out of their house. And they don't even know what kind of roommates they have. Yeah. And science always want to attribute it to, oh, well, they grew up in a bad home and they grew up in this and this. And that may be true, mm -hmm. but that's not your life. That's yeah. not who you are. Yeah. When you know Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ can clean all that out no matter how you grew up. But science makes excuses and justifies and said, oh, that's how they grew up. So we have to fill them up with a bunch of chemical drugs man, come on, man. To, to regulate their thoughts and their mind and we have to do this and do that when all you got to do is get with Jesus Christ and have a relationship with Jesus. Yeah, and, and you know it's interesting because uh, when Jesus came, look, look at what Jesus did when he came. Mm -hmm. He immedi immediately went on a spiritual warfare attack. He immedi immediately he was casting out demons. Mm-hmm. Immediately he was healing the sick. Mm -hmm. Immediately he showed us that the enemy was there, had been been there the entire time. Mm -hmm. He says, "Yeah, let me reveal to y'all the enemy of your faith, mm -hmm. and this is what you, you you need to be doing. You need to be fighting this joker until I return." Mm -hmm. And we've a lot of uh, Christians who have been blinded simply by thoughts as well. Mm -hmm. You know, who's living in your house? Why sh why shouldn't Saving souls be the number one agenda. That's what the Lord's agenda was. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why we were here. Yeah, time. yeah. So we have to look at what he did. He went on. Uh, there's a war going on. There's a war right now. Mm -hmm. Every day there's a war, mm -hmm. and we're here to save souls. And that's why we have teaching this message right now because we're trying to teach you how to first of all realize the battles that you have to. You there's particular demons that have been controlling you. Anger used to control me. Mm -hmm. Lust used to control me. Hey, let's mm -hmm. go through this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until I begin to, the more I study the word, the more I begin to start hearing the Holy Ghost, then those thoughts would be like, wait a minute, that's not good stuff. Yeah, 
Amen. Oh, 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 I, I caught you, thought. Amen. No, you. And all that time, that thought had been living with me. Mm -hmm. I had to kick that joke out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, check these and, and check these things out. Um, evil mindedness. They are whispers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Backbiters, haters of God. Yes, there are haters of God. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Violent. Where do you think they come from? Mm -hmm. Come with thought. Yeah. Before you shoot somebody, it's a thought, man. Anytime, and you can stop that thought at any moment. Mm -hmm. it's a thought. Some people just have no clue of spiritual warfare. They just think, oh, that was just him. He was mentally unstable. Yes, he was mentally unstable because he was being spiritually attacked. Yes. And you have, no one taught him how. Yes. To recognize the enemy of our soul. Violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. That's a spirit. Disobedience, yeah. That's a spirit. And if we don't teach our children from an early age yeah. to recognize it, they're just going to follow in that and walk in that. Mm -hmm. And then one day we'll find ourselves visiting them in They'll, prison. Yes, full of disobedience. Mm -hmm. Full of it because we did not teach them that, listen, that's a thought from the enemy, you need to rebuke that thought when it comes around, or that thought could lead to. Yes, because you have to always remember, and that's so, that's so key. This is what we teach our children. The enemy, the devil, comes to only do three things: to steal, kill, kill, steal, and, and destroy. destroy. So whatever thought he brings to your mind, it's gonna sound good. It's gonna sound like a good thing. Oh, that's harmless, no problem. But it's gonna make it purpose. look good. But if it goes against the word of God, yes, all it's going to do is destroy, destroy you. your life. Yes. Yes. Disobedient to parents. Undiscerning. <laughs> uh, untrustworthy. That's the enemy. Yeah. Unloving. Unforgiving. Unforgiving. Yeah. What kind of spirit is that? What kind of thoughts are those? Unmerciful. Yeah. Yeah. Unmerciful. Right? Where are these things? Where are these... Where do these thoughts come from? Mm -hmm. Right, you can always tell what thoughts live with who through the person's actions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Verse thirty-two says, "Who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them." And that's right there. That is a big thing to me, right there, mm. because you do have people. Who approve when uh, of of a sin? Mm. They approve of sin. Mm. You know they'll sweep it under the rug or justify it like, oh, like for instance, the homosexual spirit. Oh, they're born that way. That's just who they are. So you're approving of it. Mm -hmm. No, you're not a homosexual or you're not following that spirit. Mm -hmm. But because you're approving of it, you're just as guilty. Exactly. Instead of teaching them, it's not about hating that person. But it is teaching them, them that that's a demonic spirit, spirit that is trying that to is host the you. That is enemy telling you to act this that way. Is the, exactly. That's the enemy telling you, oh, it's going to be you or be a, make a beautiful woman. Or mm. it feels good to, to feel like this and do this. It's mm. not a feeling that you've always had. It's that spirit that mm. you've always had. Mm. That roommate that you never cleaned out of your house. And you can tell how much, um, if, if a person is filled with that spirit. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You can tell how much you can tell when a person is like how they're like I don't know what I what I am. Mm -hmm. That means that they're halfway full. Mm -hmm. Well, that spirit, you need to try to go ahead and cut that those thoughts off right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Depression, spirit. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. It starts. All it takes is one thought, and the enemy will come and say, "Oh, you're not good enough," or "Look how people look at you." And this is very crucial, especially mm -hmm. for our children in mm -hmm. the middle school ages. Because that's a really hard period from them, for them, from, a, say, age 12, 11, 12, on up to 16 or 17. They're going through a period of deciding who they are and knowing who they are. Mm -hmm. So they're especially little girls. They're always concerned about, what does she say about me? Or what mm -hmm. does he say about me? Or right. how do I look? Do I look pretty enough? Mm -hmm. You know, are my boobs big enough? Am mm -hmm. I, uh, well, all those I thoughts. The, the all enemy. That, those, that's in the, the uh, attack of the enemy. Yes. To destroy them. Yes. That's all it is. Yes. Amen. So, our time is almost up. Uh, visit us at www.
dot soldiers of Christ dot com. S O U L J A H S of Christ dot com. And don't forget to check out who your roommates are. Do you have good roommates or do you have bad roommates? Next time we're going to talk talk to you about moving those bad roommates out of your house. Moving them out. How do you move those? Yeah. Out of your how house? do you move those thoughts? How do you clean all that up up there? Amen. You know what I'm but first and foremost, get to know Christ Jesus. You can't remove uh, any roommates that are rebuking the spirits if you don't have the power of Jesus Christ in you. Yes. So repent. Uh, all you have to do is very simple. Repent. Ask Christ to come into your life and believe that he is the Savior. He mm -hmm. came and died for our sins. Mm -hmm. And begin to read the Word. Yeah. Begin to read the Word. If you have problems with the Word, talk to someone who is familiar with the Word. Yes. And they can help you read through the Word. Talk to the Lord on a mm -hmm. daily basis. Mm -hmm. Build a relationship with him. Mm -hmm. He will begin to uh, direct your path. Amen. So until next time, this is AOG. And this is CC. First lady. We'll see you next time.